This is Terrible Tim Witherspoon, former two-time heavyweight champion of the world. And this is my YouTube channel. Here we are at the Witherspoon family gym, and they are fixing the ring. They're making the ropes tighter so there's no rope a dope now. We are going to. There is the champ. Let me just get this camera on you. Perfect. I think we have to move it back a little bit here, and there we go. Witherspoon name is there now. All right, champ. So the first one, first question was. What did you learn while you were working with Ali under his camp and under his uh, learning tree? What, what, what did you bring away from him that was so beneficial that you feel the most beneficial thing? Well, well Muhammad Ali, uh, he, spread it, he spread it love. He spread it love and I did learn natural things like like uh, running and stuff he did, eating properly. And um, I was being nice to people even before I met him. I, you know, my attitude and everything. But what really put the icing on the cake is when I met Muhammad Ali, one of the nicest guys in the world. Um, let me tell you a quick, something that happened, you had fans and everything. Um, out like out in front of the like the camp, and mm -hmm. some of them snuck in the back. They snuck in the mm -hmm. back. He had security, and they snuck in the back and woke him up. He actually got out of his bed and told the security to leave them alone. I witnessed this because I was yeah. there, and told them leave them alone. Then he started doing like tricks. He always got a bag of tricks, and, like he's a um, musician. Musician, yeah. yeah. And and he would do the tricks. Oh, you yeah. know, they woke him up, and he told the security to leave them alone. That's what kind of guy he is. He was a great, great, yeah, he great, was great all time. And and that was uh, what was, was that something that you really took? I wanted with to you? be like him. You know, yeah, how everybody yeah. say I want to be like Mike. Yeah, I wanted to be like him. But you, I was, I kind of like was, I, I wasn't violent. I wasn't really uh, going out there fighting people and all that type of things. And and um, I'm not saying I'm like him, but I, I, I you know, yeah, it rubs off on you once yeah. you be around. Him. And um, I remember you were telling me a story too earlier about how he practiced the jab, and that oh, was like yeah. a big takeaway that you had from him. Yeah. So I was taught to do jab, do jabs. You know, with first your knuckle land yeah. because it's powerful. You're right. The, 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 this this part of your knuckles are the, is the strongest part of your hand. Yep. And this is the weakest part. Yep. And Ali just said Ali was there sitting there. You know, I was just sitting up there trying to catch flies, trying to hit flies with my hand. Like, wow. like like this, and he slap it out, slap it out, you know. So um, that that and and you know that was a, a quick jab what he did, but it is like several ways you can you can um you know execute a jab. But his was like quick, sharp, and um he said it. He said he used to try to get flies, hit flies. Uh, and that's something you used in the ring yourself. Yeah, he used it. Oh yeah, I did that sometimes. Yeah. So, you know your your jab get there a little quicker. Yep. Um, and, and right behind it, you can put a right hand in it. You could like block their eyes with it. And they come with a right hand behind it. Oh, excellent. Yeah. When did you decide to start the YouTube channel and get the idea to dedicate one to sharing old school boxing training tips? Okay, okay, we, well, I know my son was starting one um, and um, I decided to, to do one too, to do one too, but and I met this guy, Brian, <laughs> he, he just speeded everything up. But we were going to do it, family stuff in it, um, and, and try to, you know, and try to, um, and it really, um, skills and stuff, I was going to start doing that. But that was, and then, then um, and then um, um, this guy, Brian, who's my agent, oh, well, by my marketer, he's trying to market everything. He's taking the film right now, yeah. he's videotaping me. He enhanced the whole picture. He enhanced it, and we're moving forward. But um, I think that would have been good to bring my name out, um, and 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 also bring skills skills that boxers don't have. We could we could we could see what they're missing. Yep. See, so bring back some of the mold yeah, techniques. Some of the old stuff. Yeah. Yep. 
You and your son. That's great. Yeah. Uh, next question. What victory are you personally proudest of? Well, there's a couple of them. I'm really proud of the Frank Bruno fight. Oh, yeah. But I'm also proud of this other one. Which one? This one, Quick Tillis. Oh, Quick Tillis. Quick Tillis one. Yeah, Mike Tyson, it took him 10 rounds to knock Quick Tillis out, and I knocked him out in the first. So I started really thinking after that fight. Yeah. I started thinking, he went 10 rounds, and I start, I start thinking, I said, whoa, there's some light. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, at the end of the tunnel, because I was still fighting. I knocked Quick Tillis out, um, I think, before he fought. Yeah, I knocked him out in the first round. So I started saying to myself, I said, whoa, he went 10 rounds with Mike. There's some daylight. But like I was a bruise. I couldn't focus because, um, for instance, I went to England. And I keep saying it. I went to England and poured uh, Frank Bruno, knocked him out in the 11th round. He, he received 1.4 million and I received like 95,000. And I defended my tight, tight, tight on in, in his in his uh, country, so I was scheduled to fight him again, and I was only going to get five hundred thousand. And so I knew that out of that five hundred thousand, I was going to get about a hundred thousand to fight Mike Tyson, where everybody was getting two million, million five, you know. Um, so there's something else we're going to have to talk about, and that's the bone crusher fight later on down the line. Yeah, we got a special yeah, well, video. Well, the first time, I, I shut him out every round of my almost, yeah. and then the second time, I had to lay down in order to... Yeah, we'll yeah, get into a video yeah, on that. that. Yep, and but, then uh, last question. How do you like your own chances versus Mike Tyson in 1987? Well... I, I didn't have the I didn't I, I wasn't never, I wasn't thinking about about fighting him. I was thinking about a lot of other things. I don't think that um, at that time I would have beaten him because, like I, I keep saying, I was going I was being abused and I wasn't training all the time and and um, I, my head wasn't on the right track. What if you were at your prime? Oh, I think I think that it would have been a good fight. Yeah, would have been a good fight. Um, I think I had an, I know for a fact I had enough skills. Yep. Uh, to beat him, but I, I, I think it would have been a really, really interesting fight with me and Mike. Yeah, it would have been one heck of a fight, definitely. All right, Tim, thanks a lot, and uh, make sure you tell everybody to like. Oh, to like our YouTube channel and, and subscribe. Subscribe, that's yeah, right. Yeah, I got to say that, I got to say that. <laughs>